Welcome back to Texas Cable News. Gadget Guy Dave Matthews is back today. Yay. Yeah, thanks Yay. for having me. What do we say back? You're just back from the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. That's right. Every year in January, they show off the latest and greatest technology that we'll see in retail stores in the next coming weeks. You must now, have been in heaven. Oh, I love it, because this is where all the manufacturers, and what's great about this is I get to actually meet with engineers. So Ooh, none of the marketing cool. drivel. <laughs> I get to talk to the real guy who's designing the products, and uh, every now and then they listen to some of my feedback, and they implement that. Or into, at least they uh, yeah. nod politely. Uh -huh. That's true. I didn't think about <laughs> so it's that. a big group of Dilberts, in other the, words. Exactly. Well, this one is not so much Dilberty as, as the Comdex show. This yeah, is more yeah. consumer electronics, toys, VCRs, camcorders, all that good stuff. But there were some computer things there, and one of the things that I saw was the next generation of Pentium 4 laptops. And what was neat about these laptops is the Pentium 3s had been the mobile devices from here to uh, now. But this device has a biometric reader on it. So if you see, you stick your finger on the uh -huh. little ID, and think about laptop theft. Sure. Yeah. If your laptop gets stolen and you're an executive, and this has happened in high profile cases where executives have lost all their information. Well, uh -huh. with this biometrics and the new Pentium 4 line, you'll be able to use your fingerprint ID to uh, log on to the system. That's great. Even your data safe. Another big thing that, that was there was PDAs. And traditionally, these have been palms or mm -hmm. handspring devices. There's never really has been a Linux PDA. Well, finally, it's out. Sharp has come out with his Zaurus. And it's kind of expensive. It's going to be about $599, but it's going to be available this spring. And if you look, there's a little, that? Yeah, that there's a full keyboard on this. So not only does it run your favorite version of Linux, as the geeks love, but you can also type away at this little thing. And, uh, is that just, a normal keyboard? It's, it's just a micro-sized keyboard. Yeah. It's small. It's handheld. And you can see the I close SDF. it up there with my... SDF. But yeah, it's a QWERTY keyboard if, as far as the, uh, the is technology that there called? goes. <laughs> I beg your pardon? QWERTY. And that's if you look on the top of your keyboard, it's Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Ah. And the other keyboard is Dvorak, which is a better keyboard, but that's a whole other story as to why. Now, cellular flip top PDAs as well? Now remember last time I was on I showed yeah. you guys the handspring yeah. trio and this was a PDA meets cell phone. Well Danger has been uh, creating this device that no one really knew what it was but here it is it's the hip top they finally released it and watch this it, it's a full web browser it's an email it's gonna work on the cellular network so it's gonna be more like a cell phone and less like a pager. Uh, the little roll wheel on the side is cute because it blinks different colors when your different friends call. You see on the far right, just out of shot there, there's a little video camera, so you can oh, use okay. this to take wow, color pictures. You and did you see how it flipped? Me. Yeah. It, it swings open, and lo and behold, there's a full keyboard, another QWERTY keyboard underneath it. So I just think this is great that these keyboards actually work, too. You don't type like you do on a traditional keyboard. You use your thumbs, and you cradle the device in your thumbs and just type away. You, you thumb away at it and it really works well. It's very surprisingly and neat technology because it all fits in the uh, same space that a pager did last year. But now we have email, web wow. surfing, telephone, and your full address book. And a rollable keyboard I see on the list. What's, yeah, th what's different this about is that? Neat. If you already have a device, maybe you have a Cosiera cell phone that has a Palm PDA, or you already have a, uh, a different type of PDA. Look at this. This oh, is a silicone is rubber great. keyboard. Oh my gosh. And it's got great tactile response. And you can literally roll it up. It works with compact eye packs. It works with palms. It works with handsprings. Best thing about it, available today, man and machine. Uh, creates this product and it's only $69. So how cool is that? Yep, and it, they've got a nice little neoprene pouch for it to uh, to stick in. And it's <laughs> pretty share. durable. You can. It's amazingly durable. Now this company also makes keyboards that they use in industrial areas. So you can actually get a full size <laughs> rollable keyboard for your desktop. And if you work in a plant or if you work somewhere like uh, McDonald's or maybe Mark Cuban could use it today. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> or if you have a toddler that likes to pound exactly. on the keyboard. Is it more ergonomic? Does it no, help you? No, it's or? not. It's not going to be able to type as well as your click keyboard mm -hmm. will because of the feedback is different. But, you know, the rollable keyboard is just about this large. And, uh, wow. and it does have surprisingly decent feedback. I've been waiting all afternoon to do this. Tell us about movie phone. Well, Michael, thank you, you for asking. Why don't you just tell me about movie in the past, exactly like Michael saying, all you could do is find out what movie was playing via voice. It would just tell you this. But let technology solve problems that don't exist. There's finally <laughs> a telephone that has a very large display on it, a full interactive menu, 
and the ability to play movies. You so have got to be kidding. It is really cool. It uses Windows Media, so naturally this was at the Microsoft booth. Of course. And uh, it's a small phone. It's, it's just a bit wider than most, but it's a beautiful color screen. Look at this. Look at the trailer on that. So it had the rating and everything. It is really cool. And you can sit there and walk through the menu, pick your media, and it, depending on how much storage is inside of it or whether you're streaming off of a network. But mm -hmm. finally, cellular networks are becoming fast enough in order to stream full color movies over them. And, and we know that there's been a desperate need for that. Th well, think about <laughs> it. Now you can sit and with, when you're waiting in line to go through security at the airport, now you can watch the True. movies. So there, there are, life is getting a little more complex and we need features like this yeah. to, to what help What are us sugar cube glasses? This is neat. Now, what I didn't like about that phone is it was a very large display. And although it was beautiful, it took up a lot of yeah. real estate right. yeah. on your phone. Well, what if you could uh, look into a little sugar cube? Now, this is less than 10 centimeters square. And look at this. I was mm -hmm. so excited that my camera crew yeah. could get that focused. But look at that. These are glasses you wear. They're super lightweight. And you, you put them up to your eyes. And now you've got like a full widescreen video going through these little sugar mm, cubes. You see the video you picked, so, too. And isn't that great, Michael? I thought of you when Thank I was you. filming this. It but looks like, it's like a device at the, at the eye doctor's office. Do you actually wear you, that? You wear it, and um, in the past, I've worn some of the other ones. They're very heavy and clunky, yeah. and on airplanes, everyone stops to see if you're crazy or you're... <laughs> right, and that's, a bad, that's a very bad thing these that. days. But taking this technology one step further, there's you could also use one of them on a cellular phone. So instead of being able to watch a movie looking like it's a 17 foot wide screen in front of you, when it's on your cell phone, you just peel out the little sugar cube and very small phone. And uh, there's the little sugar cube at the bottom. You see my finger there for yeah. a size reference. And uh, down on the end of, of the uh, phone where the mouthpiece is, is there's the web page. So now you don't need a full screen in order to view web pages that that's the same uh like 800 by 600 640 by 480 whatever display you use today with your uh desktop computer well i can see the economy hasn't slowed down any research to this <laughs> no, point anyway. it hasn't but uh, the internet phone prototype you want to talk about by sharp what's what's well, different this, about that this is a technology actually you know we've got i've, I've got a closure for this you've, you've got these these uh handheld devices that yeah. run on batteries right how do you keep those batteries charged? You're going to be watching movies. If, if you think your cell phone doesn't last long now, yeah. it, right, how, right. how's it going to last if you're watching a movie? Movies. Well, technology, once again, solves problems. This is a I crank know. charger. You hook up to your cell phone, <laughs> and oh you can just God. crank away 30 seconds. The Pupil Pocket it, Battery Charger. <laughs> it starts to charge. And uh, Jolyn, I don't think you like this very much. So oh. there is a flashlight attachment for it, so you can turn it into a flashlight. <laughs> and um, so it is a dual-purpose device. Carrot dicer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's nothing you'd want to carry along with you, but you could uh, keep it in your car and charge as needed. Amazing. Well, one last thing that I want to talk about is a child locator. Now, if you're a parent, you want to know where your kids are. I know my parents got so angry when I didn't call in and check in with them. Well, a company called Wearify is about to release this product. It'll probably be out this summer. It's going to be kind of expensive, about $400. It's a watch. But on the top is a cellular transceiver, a cellular phone radio. And on the back is a GPS. So as the child wears this, the parents can literally ping the device and do a request to find out where they are. And up on the web page, we'll come up with a map and show you spots where in the city your child was last seen. And it's going to be about $30 a month. You'll have a, only, only a fixed uh, series of how many times yeah, you can so ping, hits, yeah. Yeah, ping your child. But I thought this was neat. Yeah. Think about with dogs. or Well, do you foresee a time where that they'll find ways to hide those? Uh, in other words, that's a very visible thing it's, you it's can visible. see in a child, but for security reasons, and I guess I'm as paranoid as anybody. But Sure. Yeah, I mean, you got to think, you've got GPS radios, cell phones, displays, and battery technology. It's going to take something more than the batteries we use today, maybe little energy cells yeah. that run off of a butane or something mm -hmm. else. That device you have to charge every night, yeah. so it only has about an 18-hour life on its battery. And, and it does lock on the child's arm, so it is difficult to get the watch okay, well, that's off That's what arm. I was wondering. So it is tough to get out. But think about package tracking. Uh, in the past, chips had been stolen. Computer chips are very expensive. You could put a unit like that on a cargo crate and be able to track uh, your shipments as they go across the U.S. So Exciting whether it be stuff. dogs, children, it's just a, a neat integration of all these technologies, cellular, GPS, and, uh, bring, and the web, and bringing them all together to... Uh, solve the problem of where are my kids? Where are the kiddos? <laughs> cool stuff. Dave Thank Matthews, you. Gadget Guy, thanks for coming by. We're going to be talking about several other items next week. We're definitely going to
talk about the best in show for the electronic show. That's right. Show. This yeah, device, this? I'll tease it real quick the here. Moxie if, if, Home if you've had a TiVo, TiVo was my favorite device, a personal right. video recorder being yeah. able to record shows on the computer hard drive. This device takes everything that the TiVo gives you and it lets you do it in multiple rooms. So one server in the living room, the, this Moxie feeds to the bedroom, feeds to the den, all wow. off of one brain, which is, and it's cheap too because the units that go in the bedrooms don't need to be as sophisticated. Wow, interesting. Best of show. Wow.